Okay, uh, so let's get started. Um, before uh, I hand things over to our presenter, Dave Caro, by the way, my name is Jason Silberman. Um, again, thank you all for joining us. Just a few announcements uh, before we begin. One uh, for people who may ask already or may be wondering, the webinar is being recorded and um, we, if everything goes okay with the recording, we hope to send it out uh, tomorrow uh, via email. If you don't get it tomorrow, then you'll probably get it on Friday. Um, secondly, uh, the webinars are always better uh, if there are some questions uh, from the audience. We will leave about 10 to 15 minutes of Q&A uh, at the end of today's webinar. You can ask questions in the webinar control panel questions tab, uh, and we'll get to as many as we can. I can't promise we'll get to every single one. Um, so please try to keep it on topic as much as possible. Again, for the topic of today's webinar, you can see on the screen is using Taurus to automate JMeter and Selenium tests, but it's Taurus focused. Um, finally, uh, at the end of today's webinar, uh, you will be prompted just to fill out a 30 second survey. It just has a few questions. Uh, we would appreciate if you would fill it out. Um, again, it only takes 30 seconds. It helps to get that. It helps us to gain your feedback um, and uh, it'll allow us to know how to make our webinars better in the future. And also it will give you a chance if you would like to request a follow-up one-on-one session uh, with one of our performance engineers, it will give you that opportunity as well. So with all that said, I'm now gonna pass things over to Dave Caro, uh, developer advocate at BlazeMeter. Hey, thanks, Jason, and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there. Thanks for joining us. Um, there seems to be a fair amount of interest in today's topic, which is awesome, so thanks for joining us. Um, as, as Jason mentioned, this will be recorded, and I'll also be sharing with you a what I'll call a URL tour or a, a cheat sheet of places you can go visit uh, to learn more. We'll see that in a sec. Uh, I am indeed a developer advocate. That means I'm focused on helping people uh, who are trying to shift left or understand how to implement testing in more of a development side, um, what they need to learn, and Taurus is kind of right up that alley. So let's take a look at today's agenda. The first uh, part of the presentation I've, I've titled Why We Are Here, um, and that's a little just kind of an orientation to, you know, what are we up to? What, what, why, are, why are we doing what we're doing? Uh, then we'll talk four fundamentals of Taurus. I think that the audience is probably mixed. There's some of you who may be just introduced to Taurus for the first time, some of you who've been following Taurus for a while, and some of you who are actually already you know, deeply implementing it. And I imagine that <clears throat> at least the first two audience, um, probably uh, uh, you, um, there's an old fable about blind men and an elephant where uh, they're all reaching around and trying to understand what this elephant is. And the guy that grabs the trunk thinks it has something to do with a hose. And the guy that grabs the leg thinks it's something like a tree. Um, Taurus has multiple pieces to it, and I'm going to spend a little time talking about the four fundamentals of Taurus um, so that we, we're all on the same page about um, kind of the breadth of what it can do. Then we'll go a little deeper, and this is indeed the first in a series of what we're calling going deeper sessions on Taurus, um, both webinars and meetups. Um, and uh, today is, is I'm going to kind of orient you to some good information you can use to sort of self-study and learn more. Um, and then we'll move on to today's demos, which is probably why most of you came. Uh, and we'll leave time for Q&A. So let's talk a minute about why we are here. And um, you'll notice in this diagram, there's a circle in the middle and there's all these arrows pointing outward. And I want you to imagine that the circle in the middle is the traditional uh, testing uh, organization. Quite often there'd be a dedicated team which receives code that needs to be tested from the developers and has some amount of time to test it and then hands it back. Um, what's happening right now, um, and, and, and whether you're part of it or we're part of it, it's, it's happening all around us. And we're very fortunate to be actually um, uh, very much involved in this, which is that in order for um, the software development lifecycle to be sustainable going forward, for code to be able to ship fast in larger volumes, people are moving to more of an agile team environment where you have multiple separate teams working in parallel and those teams are as autonomous they're as self-sufficient as possible and uh, they've come a long way to to have their own build environments and do all sorts of good stuff that lets them um, uh, do stuff very quickly and in some environments they can push stuff all the way to production one of the gaps which people are wrestling with filling right now is how do you get testing done in that environment you if you're going to have an independent team 
kind of out those circles around the outside, if you're going to have an independent team that is doing uh, its own work, they need to be able to do their own testing. At the very least, they need to be able to start their own testing, which is they need to be able to get early feedback as they build code. Um, and that means you need to do the testing where the development is done. And so there's a movement for the centralized testing function to, to disperse. Um, and it happens in several different ways. One of them is that the centralized function acts as mentors that spreads access and best uh, examples and and, 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 and um, mentors people in how to look at testing, how to think about it. Um, and maybe in another webinar, we'll talk about some of the best examples out there. There's some great webinars and such that we'll point you to uh, in another one of these webinars. But, but so one, one way to do this is to, is to sort of have that testing centralized function be the mentors. Another way uh, has actually already started happening, which is that some of these teams just take matters in their own hands and they go grab open source software and start doing their own testing. And that doesn't mean that uh, full stack end to end pre production testing doesn't happen anymore. What it does mean is that feedback happens much, much sooner. And so by the time you get to the full stack testing, um, you already know the obvious stuff and you're only looking for the outliers. Um, and uh, and it's kind of exciting. We have customers who are partway on this journey and some of their teams have shifted left and they're actually doing their own um, testing much earlier and other teams at the same exact company haven't done that yet. And they all still have sort of a, this is a company that gets in kind of a Black Friday situation. They all have their, their um, production scale testing that's done um, as the fall approaches and you head towards the shopping season uh, and What's, what's kind of a beautiful case study is that the teams that have shifted left and have done testing where development happens, um, really it's a yawner. It's it's almost boring for them. Uh, one of my colleagues says, you know, we turn war rooms into nap rooms, right? Um, for the people who shifted left, they literally have very little to do. The people who didn't shift left have what you normally expect to happen, which is that you get to the end of a project and things get really busy and it's really crazy and you call home and say, I'm not going to be coming home for dinner and you work weekends. And, and so the teams that haven't shifted left have the old way of pulling your hair out and the teams that have shifted left have a much more sustainable, um, more predictable um, delivery cycle and they're able to move their code through and not end up with these giant rework projects laid on. So I don't know about that. That's something we care about deeply. So that's, we, be, we believe that the only way that, that software development can keep up with modern demands is to move to testing out to where the development is done and we do everything we can at blaze meter to make that easier and taurus is part of that 